It's me, Mikey Pipes. I, you know, there's a reason why I have this in the truck, but there's a reason why it doesn't work. <laughs> Peter exploded. I did. His Mountain Dew fizzled. You know what I do to my mother-in-law at the Seder table? She, 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 she loves seltzer, right? Yeah. So she's on to it now, right? I shake the sh seltzer <laughs> and I hand it to her because she asked for seltzer and she opens it and explodes, That's right? Cool. And we all laugh. Peter decides to open up the Mountain Dew for the second time because he had it open in the shop and it didn't spewge anywhere. He opened up the Mountain Dew and exploded. Look, it's all over the window, all over the door. My brand new Mercedes. Oh my God, now we gotta get it detailed. I'll give, I'll give it a Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen, TGIF. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Mike Dyack. I am a licensed master plumber in the state of South Carolina and certain jurisdictions in the great state of New York. Peter is my apprentice, soon to be HVAC technician. We're gonna give him a few more weeks, but he should be in a truck, hopefully, hopefully by Memorial Day. If not then, definitely by Independence Day. What other better way to him to celebrate his independence from me, the lunatic that I am. Smash that thumbs up button. Check out Mikey Pice Philanthropy, charitable YouTube channel. Link up here or down there and down there. All right. Well, Peter's still cleaning. I got to show you this email I got from uh, this guy named Jeff, right? He goes, hey, Mikey, you've been a loyal subscriber for your channel. Under my name, Jeff Marone, started my own YouTube channel. Wow, awesome. Jeff's HVAC Adventures. Here's his channel, guys. It's at Jeff's HVAC Adventures. Check it out. And yes, I'm encouraging my subscribers to follow him. All right, let's go to our first service call. Let's make some money. You never know. It could be great content. Could be. <clears throat> well, we are 10 minutes early, mm -hmm. but the house is like abandoned under construction. And uh, we Please give her to 801. Seven, five. And her voicemail box is full. Mm. How can your voicemail box be full? If your life is that co complicated and so disorganized that your voicemail box is full, you got some problems. Yeah. And how are you going to manage a construction project where you're hiring out the HVAC contractor to do a new HVAC system is beyond me. <laughs> But I got money that she is not going to be here by 8.01. The appointment's between 8 and 10, mm -hmm. right? You got a text message with a 15, 20 minute notice when we're on the way. Her voicemail box is full. We are officially 10 minutes early because it's 7.50. So I give it to 8.01. Fair enough. All right. Yeah. We'll call back at 8.01. <clears throat> and we get the same nonsense. I'm out. Don't waste my time. If you don't respect me, I have no respect right, for you. We decided to knock on the door. We still have a minute because it's 7.59. And um, look, here's the front of the house, right? And <laughs> that's what they have going on up there. <laughs> to make it look like there's a permit in the window. <laughs> Peter, are they stupid or something? I don't get it, yeah. Peter. Why do people waste people's time like that? It's irritating. Right? It's very irritating. And why are they doing... I get it, you know, trying to let the government into your home, but why are they... Blat Look at how huge this dumpster is. This is a eight-foot-high dumpster. Look at this. I'm not on my tippy-toes either. Yeah, I need to go on a diet, I know, but look. Look at this. We're at 994 Erie, by the way, in West Hempstead, actually called Lakeview. So, uh, and that's not a permit. And we're out of here. Guess what I'm going to do now? Immediate assistance, press zero now. If you I know I'm calling the town of Hampstead Building Department and reporting from un unpermitted work. Uh, hi. Hi, I need to report uh, some unlicensed contracting and unpermitted work. Hold on, I can put you through the building department. They are open. Perfect, thank you. Uh, hold on a minute, let me get the right... Hi, is the building department? Hi, I'd like to report some unpermitted work occurring on my... Uh, There's nobody in the office right now, sir. 
None of the inspectors come in until 9 a.m. Oh, can I leave a message? Uh, you can. You have to call back, though. They don't have voicemail unless you want to leave it on their email. Up to you. Oh, okay. Sure. All right, what town is it in? Um, West Hempstead. Okay, uh, that's the new Mr. Manzo. You best, you have to email Mr. Manzo. He's off on Fridays. Okay. He works on the weekend. Gotcha. Email him. You have a should, should, I just call the, should I just call public safety? No, this is, no, this is, this is the building department. Right, it's building department issue? Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, do you have a pen and paper? I'll give you yes. um, Andrew's email. Yes, I do. Okay, so it's A-N-D-R. M-A-N. Hi. You survived? We did. I know. It went by fast. Uh, yeah. Well, my boys weren't even here. My boys are in Mexico. Oh. And they were hired. At a for, program? No. For a, pri for a family that was doing a private thing in Cabo, Mexico. Wow. I wish I that needed, was that family. I needed, <laughs> I needed boys for a minion. Oh, and, wow. And just so to have... five guys, my three, and then two others. So just you and your husband are home? And but... my daughter. We were with okay. my sister. Very nice. We were with my sister for the first days, and I had my in-laws and brother-in-law. Very nice. Days. But it went by quick, though. At least it did yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. It's All right, what's good. broken? First floor? Yeah. Which one did you All right, thermostat is on. Cool. Auto. No action. All right, Peter, so I turn, we, the thermostat is on, it's set to cool, there's no action. What we could do first is check for 24 volts, but let's go straight to the air handler since it's accessible. So here on. is the evaporator. We have a float switch in here, and we have it wired into a condensate pump, which also looks dry, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is, let's get the non-contact tester, and let's just make sure we have power where it needs to be. We're just gonna check that piece, test that piece of Romex, okay? Let's make sure. Okay, we have power there. Okay, and this is a 110 volt or 220. Let's see, this is a 115 volt air handler. Let's take off this cover, All right? We need a quarter inch driver. Take out that screw, that screw, that screw, and that screw. So I have a feeling we have a blown fuse, but I'm also, cause I don't hear the condenser. I was gonna say, I'm thinking about maybe the ECM blower motor, but I think we got a blown fuse, uh, which, would be a blessing right now because these ECM motors, they're expensive. All right, so Peter's carefully taking off the cover. Okay. And then we're going to take a peek inside this air handling unit, which contains the blower compartment, which is right here. All right. We hear a hum. I have a hum. You have a hum? I hear a hum. Yes. Okay. But I don't have any condenser activity outside. And I just moved around the fan a little bit. What is that? Looks like a piece of insulation right there. I turned the power switch off. Let me get my hand in there. Yeah, there's a piece of foam insulation here. Look at this. So we'll put that right there. So we have the hum from the um, transformer. Turn that back on. And here's our thermostat connections, right? We have red and green. That'll give us fan. So let's hold that there for a second, Peter. Let's do red and green. Let's jump out fan and let's see what's going on. And while we're doing this, take a look at the bottom of this uh, air handling unit. You can see it's all rusted there because the drain was clogged and flooded out the system. Okay, let's put that right there. Let's see what we got. We got nada. Not an effing thing. It doesn't sound No, it does not sound what good. What was clogged? Oh, no, there's a piece of foam in the blower. Not really a big deal, but nothing there. We have a hum of the transformer. Let's just see. Um, the gray, this black, is going to be our common. So let's do our red and common, and let's see if we have 24 volts there. All right, we could have a bad switch somewhere here breaking common, but I doubt it. Let's get the vo uh, voltmeter. All right, I got my voltmeter. This is the Fluke 902 FC. Any multimeter will do the same thing. And we're gonna, yep, that's on there too. Let's check for, see if we have 24 volts here. And we do not have 24 volts. Hmm. Okay, we do not have 24 volts. Coming out of the, no, coming uh, out, out of, of the, the transformer, transformer, right? Because we have this, red and black here. Let's turn this power switch off again. Let's get that quarter inch driver. Mm -hmm. 
right here. Perfect. Let's take out that. Let's take out this. It would be nice if it was just a transformer that blew here. I don't think there's a fuse here. I could be wrong. Yep, we have a fuse there. Look at that. So let's just cooperate. I don't like it when things don't cooperate nicely with me. All right, so here is our blower control board. Let's take the fuse out. And you can see it's blown. Okay, so we have a blown fuse. So what could cause a blown fuse? Well, a short and a low voltage control wiring. We could have it be a contactor outside. We could have a short when someone maybe played with a thermostat or maybe there's a, there's a short rubbery wires touching each other. So we're gonna get another fuse. We're gonna pop that in and see what happens. Okay, there's our new fuse. Let's put that in there. And before I turn the power back on, I'm just gonna grab my handy dandy flashlight. I'm just gonna do a quick once over on everything. All right, everything there looks normal, normal, normal. Let's turn the thing on and let's see if that fuse pops. What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, I don't think, oh. Voila, it's magic. All right, that's back on. There's our dead fuse. Good stuff. Is a, is a fuse basically like a, like a safety, like it's obviously if there's a short, it pops and it kind of tells you, okay, there's a problem. Uh, yes, 100% correct. So if there, uh, you know, so you're basically the fuse is protecting the transformer. That's okay. basically all it's doing, right? Uh, kind of like a circuit breaker pops. is protecting, I guess the house mm -hmm. or the wiring, right? Um, so if there's a short in that 24, 28 volt circuit, mm -hmm. um, and there's some history here from November, that R and H and R C were, were swapped at a thermostat for un, an unknown reason. But mm -hmm. um, if 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 there's a short to ground, which is common, right? That fuse will blow. If there wasn't a fuse there and there's a short and it's a continued short, you'll burn out the transformer, yeah. which is that bad boy right there. So safety big expense. Yes. So it's it's kind of like to put it into into perspective with like a, a safety circuit, like picture a rollout switch being like a fuse. Right, oh, uh, yeah, it protects yeah. the boiler mm -hmm. if something goes wrong with flame rollout, you know, because it's a non fusible link, technically a rollout switch, right? So it's just, you know, and, then, and the thermos and the, tra the transformers that we install, the ones by Honeywell, have a little circuit breaker built into it, protecting, you know, an added protection to the transformer. Cool. All right, Peter, you thought we were done, right? But a good technician is observant of his surroundings. Here we are on the outdoor unit, we're not parts changers. Right? We're not. Parts die for a reason. This fuse died for a reason. So, right now it's fine. It's working. But, we'll do a visual examination of the system. So, we'll come out here. We have two units. We know that, because one thermostat is on, one thermostat is off, that this condenser represents the thermostat or the zone that we're working on, which is for the first floor. Okay. Let's take a look at what's going on outside. Before even touching anything, let's use our eyes. Our eyes are our most valuable asset, okay? That is the disconnect, all right, because this one goes there. Take a look at the line set. We're missing some insulation, which is not going to affect performance. We're going to feel it. It's going to feel beer can cold, which it does. Yes, we're going to take a look at the wiring, and let's take a look at this wiring, and we have exposed wire. We have exposed wire there as well. Right, look at that. So, that is a problem here. And that is the likely cause of that fuse blowing. Control wire from point A to point B. And now the second floor system came on, very nice. Let's see if we find an easy way to replace this wire because it's faded. It's fade, frayed, sorry. And let's present an so option. There's the two units there. Here's the basement. Here's a closet. We're not gonna get that lucky. <laughs> No, everything's closed. Ah! Oh, what do we have here? Let's see. No, just a, no, just a wire, but we're gonna need to run a wire to the air handler to replace that. You see, a good technician is observant of his surroundings. All right, so we were dispatched here for CAC issues. Um, to make our lives easier in the future, you know, for 
uh, accessing records in, in the future, right? I changed the service call to first floor central air conditioning not responding to thermostat. That way, when I pull up the service history in Service Pal, right, it'll show that, right? For on today's date, April 14th, 2023, instead of CAC issues, mm -hmm. right, we'll put as much detail in there as possible. So when we come here in the future and I need to look up record, right, boom, there it is. Sweet. Okay. Their electrician uh, happens to know the house very well. They're going to run a new wire from the condenser to the air handler, and our job is done. Off to the next. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, be well. God bless. Stay safe. Smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. We're on the road to 250K.